So recently, Juan Carlos Esposito went on to the Fade to Black podcast to talk about, you know, the Professor X fan castings, whether or not he'd want to play it. Of course, he said he would, but that he would not want to be in a wheelchair. I want to talk about those comments. Also, there was a mention of Denzel Washington as Magneto. So, of course, I want to talk about this whole idea. I want to talk about why I'm not really feeling it. I just feel like Hollywood, y'all have not earned this yet. Y'all at all, at all. Um, so we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. So as usual, the link to the article that we will be discussing for a little bit will be in my description. Juan Carlo Esposito still wants to play Professor X, but with a big twist. Esposito has emerged as fans' favorite choice to play Professor X in the MCU's upcoming reboot of the X-Men franchise. In an interview with Empire's Amon Warman, Esposito responded to a suggestion that legendary actor Denzel Washington could possibly join him in a future X-Men film portraying Professor X's rival Magneto. Esposito responded enthusiastically, stating that this would be great now let's just pause here because i did cackle when imagining denzel like imagine denzel floating down to you and starting a monologue as magneto (laughs) just out of nowhere like you're at the grocery store or some shit and denzel just like floats down with the helmet on and everything with the cape on and everything and starts monologuing in your face bitch i would be cackling do you hear what i'm saying to you I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Are you serious? (laughs) I am putting electromagnetic radiation on all you bitches. (laughs) Okay, okay, I'm done. The actor also discussed his attachment to the Professor X role and addressed the possible difficulty of playing the wheelchair-clad superhero, stating he hoped to portray a different incarnation of Charles Xavier. He said, I've given it a cursory glance in my brain, and immediately thought it would be great to play Professor X in some other incarnation than just a wheelchair. Because the physical idea of being in a wheelchair every single day does not appeal to me. I just don't feel that old and I don't like to sit that much, but certainly we could figure something or figure out something maybe. Professor X wasn't always in the wheelchair, but that is part of his character development. So I think about it a little bit, but I don't give it all of my thought because it would have to come to me. Okay, so I really wanna see what y'all think about what he said about the whole wheelchair thing, right? So to me, the way that he talks about the wheelchair or, you know, him saying like, I don't like to sit that much or I don't feel that old. I don't know, it just felt weird to me. I don't know, it just felt weird. Um, and it's why I think if possible, we should just get people who are disabled to play disabled characters. Cause it's just, I don't know. It just feels weird. It's like, even, even the iterations that we already know of Professor X and the actors who played them, like, okay, amazing job. But I, I can understand why there's this push for people who are disabled or people who are living the same, same kinds of experiences. If you can, right? Cause this is, it's fiction, it's superheroes, whatever. We know that. But like, if you can... I can, I can understand why there's this push to get actors who live in, in the same kinds in, uh, of realms of experiences as the characters to play the characters because it just felt weird. It's just like, especially because it's like, if you don't want to be in a wheelchair, then we don't need to be talking about playing Professor X in the first place. You know, like that's one of the most important cruxes of the character. Like it's a, it's a, vital crucial part of the character at least in the beginning right there are iterations of professor x without his wheelchair we know that when he's in krakoa all that shit like that we we know that there are iterations without the wheelchair right of professor x but story-wise we are definitely not there yet (laughs) like unless they do some crazy multiverse mumbo jumbo type shit like maybe i guess but story-wise, when we talk about the MCU, bitch, like, we we haven't even really been introduced to a bunch of mutants like that in the MCU yet, you know, to be talking to even mentioning Krakoa. So, um, like I said, unless they skipping around doing some multiverse type shit. So, you know, when we're thinking about Professor X, we think about wheelchair, period. Like, we're thinking about the wheelchair. You know, we're thinking about that iteration of Professor X. 
So it's just so so to me, I'm just like, girl, then you don't want to do it. And it's OK. But just like, I don't know. It just feels weird. And then y'all coming in here talking about Denzel as Magneto. And I'm just like really hollering. Like I said, the monologue and shit like really made me cackle just thinking about that shit. But like, I think one of the key parts of Magneto's story is the fact that he's a Jewish Holocaust survivor, you know, like you know how much y'all talking about changing because y'all already going to piss the fan bros off by race swapping the characters which <laughs> you know me i love making fun of these crazy ass racist ass fan bros like i love to do it like that's my name for them the fan bro the, the, dude, the dude bros the fan bros who be mad at women for being you know front and center in movies be mad at black people for daring to be a part of you know, fictional superheroes fucking stories and movies and shit. Like, those are the type of people I'm talking about. But at the same time, it's just like, how much of the characters are you trying to change? You're already not trying to have Professor X in a wheelchair. Like, what exactly are y'all trying to do? Finally, this is the most important point to me. I don't think Hollywood or anyone, really, um, when we're talking about the entertainment industry, movie industry, whatever, has earned a black Professor X or a black Magneto. We are not there yet. <laughs> We are not there yet. And the reason for that is because y'all don't even do the black superheroes that y'all already have on y'all rosters any justice, girl. So what the fuck y'all talking about making Superman black? What the fuck y'all talking about making the Joker or something black? Like, girl, what the fuck y'all talking about making Magneto and, and, and making Professor X black when Storm is still somewhere making ice cubes? Storm is still somewhere mixing somebody's drink at the bar. What are y'all talking about? Y'all want, the, you know, Black Magneto, Black Professor X. Y'all don't even treat the black heroes that y'all have on y'all rosters with no goddamn respect. Mahershala Ali was fighting for his goddamn life over that ugly ass, tired ass, blade script bitch that they was trying to have his ass do, bitch. He said he wasn't doing that stupid shit. <laughs> Mahershala Ali looked at that. That's what the reports were saying. Mahershala Ali looked at them fucking scripts and said, bitch, this shit is garbage. <laughs> He said, bitch, I'm not doing this shit. I'm not doing this shit. And then let's not forget. I'm just picking. I'm just going through picking them random ones. Let's not forget how they did this guy. Let's not forget that Darwin, the one who could adapt his body to any environment or some shit like they, the quickest one to die in that fucking movie was in first class or some shit. If I was MCU, I'd be embarrassed. If I was MCU, I'll be embarrassed to see this actor over there uh, at DC. I think he's playing Mr. Terrific or something over there on the DC side. But even there over on the DC side, you know, like all these comics, all these superhero rosters, right? They have so many black characters, these superhero companies, so many black characters that are underused, you know, or they're underpowered when, they, when they're when they on the big screen. They underpower the fuck out their ass. So I think we have to deal with all that. Like we have to deal with how shitty y'all treat these black heroes, how y'all underuse them, y'all y'all depower their asses. Oh my God. We have to talk about that first before y'all talk about turning white hero, white superheroes into black ones, girl. There are way, way, way too many black heroes that, I mean, so many, so many black heroes that have cool powers, interesting stories, and y'all put them in the back. Or y'all don't even mention their ass at all. Y'all don't, y'all literally don't promote them, don't market them. And then when they don't do well, you're like, oh, well, see, that's why we can't do black people. Oh, well, 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 how about you fucking advertise? How about you market that shit? How about you actually give a damn instead of, you know, creating a black character or a couple black characters just for some diversity brownie points, girl, like we can tell. <laughs> we can tell. So that's kind of how I feel about it. I'm just like, yes, I understand. It would be funny to see Denzel talking about, you know, homo sapiens and their guns. Like, it would be funny. It would be funny to see, you know, him walking around here with that helmet on. I'm so sorry. It would be hilarious to see Denzel. Like, Denzel, are you really <laughs> are you really wrapping me up in this metal pole right now, Denzel? Is that you, Denzel? <laughs> like, it would be funny. It would be funny. But I'm just like, y'all do not have any kind of respect for the black heroes already on y'all rosters girl we need to fix that first we need to get how about how about y'all get storm a good movie first how about you impress us with a fucking storm movie first how about that how about that before y'all start pissing racists off with these <laughs> with these black this black professor X and black you know let's get let's get these actual black heroes a good story a good film you know what i mean first and then we could talk about that shit later. 
Okay, tell me what you think about this topic. Tell me what you think about the idea of Juan Carlo and Denzel as Professor X and Magneto. Thank you so much for watching and I'll check you out later. Peace. Make sure that you're going to www.zeraxia.com. When you join the wait list there on the site, you will be the first to be notified when I drop my sequel. Also, you'll immediately get chapter one of my upcoming sequel of the upcoming book uh, sent to your email as a PDF. So check that out. Also, this is a different excerpt uh, from my upcoming book. So you definitely want to pause to read if you're trying to get your life. Uh, keep in mind that this upcoming book, the sequel, is following up the first book that is already released called Zaraxia Wrath of the God King. Um, I released it a couple years ago, a few years ago. It was my, really, it was my introduction to writing uh, fantasy and stuff. So just go easy on me. But either way, as you can see here, it's giving 4.9 stars. It's giving 4.9 stars. So yeah, check out Zaraxia Wrath of the God King while you wait for Zaraxia, the vengeance of cold wind, right? And go to Zaraxia.com, sign up, join the wait list, get your free chapter. Thank you so much.